if South Africa has to be competitive, I think we need to train more engineers to, I mean, to, to, to pioneer I mean, in new technologies. The students coming through now are the leaders of the future. And if we're not getting people going into the sciences, we're not getting people to address the environmental impacts that we're having on the world. South Africa in general does not produce enough scientists and engineers. To train more engineers, we need better infrastructure. The university has these aspirations to be recognized as one of the premier universities in the world. And I think science uh, is fundamental to that ambition. This building will enable us to increase capacity in terms of uh, being able to graduate more science students. It's in line with current trends. I think this is moving in the right direction and I think students should definitely take a decision to come here. The facility is state of the art, so it's immediately going to modernize the look of science. In order to have, have scientists that, that are progressive and innovative, you've got to give them environments to let them become that. And the labs themselves have been designed to, to be very open and very accessible, making science accessible to everyone. The atmosphere is very nice and the appearance, I mean, the safety standards, you've got microphone PA systems, they are all world class. You, you, you just fall in love with the venue, you can just communicate effectively. It's so sophisticated, just the fact that you have a gas port at every single bay and the compressed air and all the taps, it's perfect, it's a dream come true. But having a lab like this, it equips students for the future. There are they're actually very impressive. I didn't realize the scale that it is. Our labs weren't as good as this, our first year lab, so it's good to see that they've taken a step up. This must make a positive impact. Schools come on tours, and that influences what people decide to study. state-of-the-art audiovisual uh, technology. Uh, it enables us to immediately podcast lectures. Uh, it enables uh, the lectures to be more interactive with the students. Uh, we can make use of modern platforms like smartphones, etc. And uh, we also can introduce technology which gives immediate feedback. We have a very clear picture of what lecturers are doing because of uh, the camera system that shows exactly what they're doing on the table. The sound facility is really incredible. Presentations can be a lot more multimedia enriched, whereas before it was just a chalkboard or a whiteboard. So it's kind of more in line with what the newer generations are used to. Wits University's ultimate aim is to improve its rating as an, as an international university and having better infrastructure such as these, I think it's in line with that uh, goal of improving and hopefully having us in the top 100 university in the world. The next phase of the building will consist of a mathematical sciences wing. We're hoping to start that next year. It will house the four schools of mathematical sciences, so it will be computer science, uh, mathematics, applied mathematics and statistics. With mathematical sciences being nearby, then the, the whole uh, concept of science stadium has this in, in, in one package. We will have more graduates. Uh, if we have more graduates, that leads to more postgraduate students. More postgraduate students lead to more uh, research productivity and research activity. Good students, uh, good facilities will then propel us uh, onto the world stage.